Hello Year 11, welcome to this week's review where we'll be looking at the binary search, the mechanics, the good, the bad and then the homework answers. So just to revise over the binary search, we can see a question on the screen, it's looking to be to search for the integer value 47. So remember the first thing about the binary search that we've learned is the array or the data set must be ordered. If this data set is not ordered, I cannot do a binary search. That's its one, well, that's a major flaw with the, with the binary search. So let's look at how I would search for 47. Well, the first thing I need to do is know the positions in the array. So I want to write down the indices or the indexes above the array to help me carry out the binary search. So we're searching for the number 47. So the first thing that we know we do is we get the upper bound and the lower bound. So we know at the begin that this is the lower bound, the first element. Is going to be my lower bound and the last element is going to be my upper bound and i've got to find the midpoint and we remember the algorithm the midpoint equals the lower bound plus the upper bound floor divided by two and i will be doing this recursively or i'll be doing this again and again until i find the value that i'm looking for or i've searched all elements and it's not found so in my first probe or my first operation my lower bound in the array is zero, the upper bound is eight. That equals eight, four divide that by two, and I'm going to look at element four. So I look into element four, and I find the value 14. 14 is lower than 47, the value that I'm looking for. So I can do my binary chop, and I know that it doesn't exist in that part of the data set. So next, my lower bound has moved up to number five. So the midpoint in the second is going to be 5 plus 8, which equals 13. Floor divide that by 2, and that equals 6. So I'm going to go into element 6, and I find a 45. I make my comparison. 45 is less than 7. Binary chop, and I've got rid of elements 5 and 6. My lower bound is now 7. So I'm looking for the midpoint, and I'm looking at 7 plus 8 is 15. Floor divided equals 7. So I'm going to go into element 7 and I find 47 equals 47. Found equals through. You probably can't see that beneath the screen, but you get the idea. I have found the number and that took me three searches. So the big advantage of the binary search is its efficiency and it's what we call a log n. That's like the inverse of the exponential. So for example, if I had 1024, that's two to the 10. That means it would take me 10 searches to find one element in a list with 1024. If I had 16 elements in an array, it would take me four searches. So that is a review of the binary search. Now let's look at our homework answers. The first side, I'll leave these on screen. They were pretty straightforward. I don't think they need any explanation. Just let me zoom. For our linear search, just note common mistakes is that the indice, the index will always start with zero. So when I'm looking at question two and it asks me, what is the first item we check in the list? We go in and check here at item zero, which was the number seven. If it asks, what is the second term? It's item one or the number 14. So how many comparisons? Number 53, some people got this wrong to find 53. If we look at 53 and it's position eight, but you're counting from naught to eight inclusive, and that's nine searches. And again, here it's pretty straightforward. The linear search is self-explanatory. We'll just focus on the answers for our, our binary. So remember, the term we're looking for, sorry, in the binary search, we first compare the item we are looking for with the midpoint or the middle item. So any sensible like that. What is the first number? 7a, what is the first number which 53 will be compared with? Now, if you look at how we're doing this, well, our lower bound is 0, our upper bound is 10. 10 plus 0, floor divided by 2, is going to give me 5. I'm going to probe into element 5, and you can see the answer is 31. What is the second number? So our binary chop, and our second number, that 53 is greater than 31. So my lower point, 
<clears throat> my lower bound now is 6 plus 10 equals 16. Floor divide by 2 equals 8. And I will look in here and we will find 53. Uh, the rest of the questions were answered generally well. <clears throat> Again, just make sure you can calculate. You know the algorithm for the midpoint. Lower bound plus upper bound, floor divided by 2. So I leave that on the screen for a sec to allow you to compare the rest of the answers. But generally well done. Sorry, question 10 might need some clarifications as a term that you might have come across. It makes use of a function that calls itself. In a computer science, we call that recursive, a recursive algorithm, a function call that makes a call to itself. So for example, the binary chop is constantly doing the same thing. And that's what we call recursion. We learn more about that. Well, more about that really at AS level. So look, well done. If you haven't got your answers in, please get them uploaded. And again, remember we meet again on the usual time on Monday. So have a good weekend, over and out.